What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create smart crates. Smart crates update their contents automatically by using keywords that match with the tags in your music library based on the rules that you define in the smart crate pop-up box. So smart crates are super useful for organizing your library and putting it on autopilot basically. So anytime you import tracks into Serato, as long as there's a certain keyword in that track, it will populate that specific smart crate. An example of that would be genres. So over here you can see I have some genre smart crates. So whenever I import and analyze tracks in Serato, as long as the genre is listed on that track, it will populate that crate. And even after I've imported the tracks, I can always add the genres after. So you can add them in this genre column and they will automatically just populate the crate associated with that genre. You can also do this with artists and labels. Any way you want to organize your library and put it on autopilot, you can create a smart crate for it. So to create a smart crate, you just go to this little blue box right here with the plus sign and you click it. And that brings up the smart crate pop-up box. And here's where you can add all your rules. So to add a rule, you just click add rule. And then it brings up these options right here. So here's all the rules that you can apply. So you can do it by the date added or the album or the artist, the BPM. So for instance, if you choose genre, then it brings up this criteria for genre and each rule has different criteria. So for genre, you click here and it says contains, is, does not contain, and is not. And that has to do with whatever you type in over here. So if I type in the words drum and bass, Then I can choose here if I want the rule to apply to any tracks that contain the words drum and bass, any tracks that are drum and bass, any tracks that does not contain the words drum and bass, or any tracks that is not drum and bass. So we're just going to leave contains for that. And then over here, another example would be added. So actually, let's add another rule. And then when you click added, then it's before or after a certain date. So each rule has different criteria that you can apply here. So let's get rid of this. And I'm going to add a rule just for a certain artist. So we have genre, drum and bass, and say I want just the drum and bass tracks that are produced by a certain artist. So I'll say Urban Assault. And then you can choose to match all the following rules or not match all the following rules. So we're gonna keep that checked. And then one other thing you want to do, if you want it to populate automatically every time, you wanna keep live update checked. That way, anytime you change a track in any way or import a track or anything like that, it'll update the smart crates automatically by scanning all the crates to see if that track fits any of their criteria. And if it does, it'll add it in. So I'm gonna press save. And now we click this. Now here's all the Urban Assault tracks in my library that are drum and bass. And then you can always rename the crate just by double clicking. And if you wanna reorganize any of these crates, you just click on it and drag it around. The only thing is you can't make a sub crate with a smart crate. So smart crates stand on their own and you can't drag any other crates into a smart crate and make it a sub crate of the smart crate. So there's no sub crates with smart crates in any way, but they're super useful for organizing your library and putting it on autopilot. So it's less work for you. So that's the basic gist of how to create a smart crate. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.